Money related word problems. Today we will learn to solve money related word problems. Grandpa, I have a question for you. Yes, good day. Ask, what is it? Grandpa, if we sell these mangoes in market, how much money will we get? Good day. Mangoes are sold according to carton boxes or in kilograms. We have seven mangoes in this carton box. Yes, I remember it. Grandpa, we have packed mangoes in ten carton boxes. Right. So, if the price of one carton box is one fifty, then what will be the price of ten carton boxes? It will be one fifty multiplied by ten, so the price will be fifteen hundred rupees. Absolutely right. Okay, Grandpa. So our total expenditure is rupees fifteen hundred, right, Grandpa? No, good day. We have other expenses too. Yes, Grandpa. I have seen you give thirty rupees for parking. Where else have you spent, Grandpa? Yes, we drove vehicle too, so petrol is also spent, right? Oh, Grandpa, how much petrol is spent? About half a liter. And how much a liter of petrol costs? Seventy-eight rupees. So half a liter will cost. Half of seventy-eight means if we divide seventy-eight by two, we'll get thirty-nine. Add thirty rupees of parking to this too. Thirty plus thirty-nine is sixty-nine rupees, Grandpa. So our total expenditure will be fifteen hundred plus sixty-nine. That is. One thousand five hundred and sixty-nine rupees, Grandpa. Okay, look, I have these many notes and coins with me. How would you make one thousand five hundred sixty-nine out of these? One minute, Grandpa. So we have to make one thousand five hundred and sixty-nine. First, we'll take two notes of five hundred. It will make. Thousand rupees, then two notes of two hundred each. So thousand and four hundred gives fourteen hundred. Then we'll take one note of hundred. Now it makes fifteen hundred. One note of fifty, so it becomes fifteen hundred fifty. One note of ten, so it becomes fifteen hundred and sixty. One coin of five. So it becomes fifteen hundred and sixty-five, and two coins of two rupees. Now it becomes a total of fifteen hundred and sixty-nine. Very good, good day. But we have used so many notes in this. Can we make the whole amount of one thousand five hundred sixty-nine by using less number of notes? But Grandpa, how can we make fifteen hundred and sixty-nine by using lesser number of notes than this? Can we use a two thousand note for this? But Grandpa, it's more than fifteen hundred and sixty-nine. How much more is it? If we subtract fifteen hundred and sixty-nine from two thousand, we will be left with four thirty-one rupees. Oh wow, Grandpa! It worked with only one note. Very good. Now tell me, if I give you a two thousand rupee note, and you have to give me back four thirty one rupees, then how will you make four thirty one out of these notes? Two notes of two hundred, one note of twenty, one note of ten. One coin of one rupee, so four hundred plus twenty plus ten plus one. The total gives four thirty-one rupees. Absolutely right, Goody. So, what did we learn today? 
how to solve money related word problems and that like numbers rupees and coins can also be added subtracted multiplied and divided thank you